Hello girls and boys, how's it going? So unless you've been living under a rock, you've probably heard of the big fat Ambani wedding. Now it's being called the wedding of the century because some people estimate that the total spend has crossed 600 million dollars. There are multiple wedding planner agencies involved in this, as you can imagine. But I have some insider information. This all is being headed by a DevOps evangelist. I'll explain how. If you closely observe the stuff that is going on in the wedding, and then if you zoom out, you will see patterns of DevSecOps very, very clearly. And that is exactly what I will explain in this video. We will dissect the wedding and then we will see how it is actually using the principles of DevSecOps. If you're new here, my name is Savinder Puri and I've been in the DevOps slash computer science industry for the last 23, 24 years, having worked across India, US, UK, Europe, South Africa. So I've kind of been around the room. I'm currently Associate VP, DevSecOps, SRE and AI with a leading SI organization. You can check me up on LinkedIn for my credentials. So strap on your seat belts, let's get started. Who are the Ambani's? Let me give you some context if you're already not familiar with them. So Mukesh Ambani is said to be the 11th richest person in the world with a net worth of $124 billion. He's the chairman of Reliance Industries, which operates in industries like petrochemicals, air, uh, oil, gas, retail, telecom, and a whole lot more. Within the Indian context, this is some of the strategic partnerships that he has where he owns the franchises or the ownerships exclusively to operate these brands in India. And I'm going to flash some on the screen just to, for you to get a reference. Hamleys, Amani Exchange, Coach, Valentino, Balenciaga, Burberry. You see where I'm going with all of this? And these are just custom or end-to-end uh, -end user facing brands which you and me are familiar with. There's a ton of B2B happening here as well. The wedding that we are talking about is the wedding of his son, Anant Ambani, to Radhika Merchant. So what's the big deal about the wedding, you ask, right? There are so many rich people doing weddings all the time. I'll tell you the big deal. They managed to get Rihanna out of retirement to perform. And some people are saying she was paid upwards of $10 million for that performance. Some other performers who have been doing some of the functions which have now spanned over three months, they include Justin Bieber, Katy Perry, the Backstreet Boys, Pitbull. You see where I'm going with this? Some of the noticeable guests at the wedding Mark Zuckerberg, Bill Gates, Boris Johnson, Kim Kardashian, Nikki Hilton and James Rothschild, John Cena, uh, the former British Prime Minister, Tony Blair, the FIFA president was here. You get the picture. The word on the street was, if you're not here at this wedding, you're not there yet. All right, cool. So what's about the DevOps connection to the wedding then? Well, according to the reports, like I said, the total spend of the wedding was upwards of $600 million. Now that is the spend of some of the digital transformations in an enterprise. So that's why I said, think of this entire wedding like a large digital transformation program which is happening. Now let's dissect this and see how the principles of DevSecOps were actually applied on this wedding. Now I'll give you some snippets which are actually people talking about the wedding and then I'll come back with my commentary on the association of DevSecOps. So watch the first one which is about a buffet street, not a buffet, a buffet street that they had created which I equate to continuous delivery. Watch this video. In the wedding area, 
there was a floor full of food and places sure. to sit and eat you you enter and you see a long line like a really long line probably like 200 meters or 300 meters long of of just dessert counters with yeah. different desserts now this is an example of a continuous delivery system it's a long ci cd pipeline which each stall representing a stage in the pipeline for example a stage in the pipeline could be uh, a code commit stage a build stage a static code analysis stage a unit testing stage a security testing stage a regression testing stage a deployment to a test environment all of these are stages of a build pipeline once all the stages are are completed in a continuous delivery pipeline you are happy to deliver the product number 2 there were some music stations which i equate to toolset integration within the devsecops ecosystem have a listen to this video and then i'll come back again that was insane that was the coolest part of the whole wedding to me they had a long road built out mm -hmm. and stations along that road and on each of the stations was one music superstar yeah some music superstars from india and some international ones yeah So this is an example of how individual superstar tool sets are put together and integrated to create an end to end SDLC workflow. Now to give you some examples an organization might have individual superstar tools like you might have GitHub for code you might have Jenkins or uh, you know Azure DevOps to do your continuous integration you might have Argo CD you might be using Docker and Kubernetes uh, for your containerization then you might have a continuous deployment system right like a Go CD or something or maybe you're using Azure DevOps itself for continuous delivery and you might be using for the monitoring things like prometheus elk stack each one of these tools are great in themselves but the magic is when you're able to stitch these together and create an entire workflow that's when release management kicks in and that's when a product is released successfully just like magic is created when all these individually great artists are put together on stations in a road now let's talk about a very important concept of security and that leads us to devsecops listen to this clip again also highly highly organized and secure i was yeah. blown away by the security i was blown away by all the people who were in charge of managing the event yeah i didn't meet a single crasher which is crazy holy shit that's crazy shit. i was thinking about that too 9000 people coming and not a single one was a crasher this is a classic example of security being embedded into the software delivery life cycle the dev sec ops where throughout the life cycle you embed certain tools which will make sure that no security incidents occur for example you could have the ovos zap the z attack proxy tool which is a web app scanner you can have a sonar cube nexus iq which is the governance and policy management tool for open source you could have um, equas cloud native security tool uh, you could have hashicops vault for secret management you can have burp suit for the app security testing a lot of these tools integrated into the pipeline now they ensure that no vulnerability creeps in in the entire sdlc as we built and scale product across teams distributed across continents just like in the wedding where they had security ring around the ambani family to make sure that there are no disruptions not one security incident reported when there were high profile guests of about 9000 which were uh, attending the last wedding functions that talks about dev secops principles Now let's talk about a little bit about the Ambani family themselves and how they were setting the vibe of the party which I equate to 
the leadership setting the culture of the organization have a look at this clip i also want to talk a little bit about the ambani family here yeah because if you're the host you're setting the vibe for the event they were trying to meet as many guests as is possible yeah they were making it a point to spend time with each person and it's not even just a high uh they stayed with you for a bit spoke to you ensured that you've seen different things at uh the wedding on on that particular day uh, they they actually gave you the presents i don't know how they did it but they kind of set the tone for the wedding leadership sets the culture of the organization how the leaders behave how the leaders interact with the developers with the engineers on the ground how well they can listen to them how well they can understand their problems and start working on the solutions that is what defines the culture of the organization how much freedom is given to the individual engineers to be the best version of themselves that's what defines the googles and the netflix and the amazons of the world and that comes from top down leadership and then goes bottom up as well and then the last part which is this is bringing you the world audience to an indian wedding not taking an indian wedding to the world and that i talk about is adopting the best practices to you not you adapting to the best practices i'll explain that but have a listen to this clip we're not americanizing ourselves for you we might have bieber and drake i guess but also they're so global that's not even american this is an indian wedding and we are bringing you to an indian wedding you see what i'm saying yeah. we're not bringing an indian wedding to america this is exactly what needs to be done in a digital transformation you don't pick up the best practices of an amazon of a dora of a safe of a spotify and then use them as is what has worked for spotify for amazon for google may or may not work for your organization because your context is different your business is different your people are different your whole environment is different so take the best practices but tailor them to your environment and bring you to an indian wedding not take the wedding to america right so you know where i'm going with this this is primary reason why a lot of technology transformations fail because somebody takes a concept which has worked for somebody else and try to retrofit in within their organization doesn't always work so this girls and boys proves that the ambani wedding was actually orchestrated by a devsec ops evangelist I hope this video made sense. It was a crazy idea which popped in my head yesterday morning while I was <laughs> doing the gym and I thought I have to make a video about this. Tell me in the pinned comments how you like this little experiment and subscribe so that I can bring more such awesome content to you. See you in the next one.